if you love somebody, better tell them while they're here. Did you know that one minute of anger weakens your immune system for four to five hours? One minute of laughter boosts your immune system for over 24 hours. Overcame, overcome, overcoming. To get the better of in a struggle or conflict, conquer, defeat, to overcome the enemy. To prevail, opposition, a debility, temptations, surmount. To overcome one's weaknesses. To overpower or overwhelm in body or mind. As does liquor, a drug, exertion. Or emotion. I was overcome with grief to overspread or overrun. Overcame, overcome, overcoming to gain the victory. Win. Conquer. A plan to overcome by any means possible. You are now tuned in to Power Podcast, the Empower Our Peace and Blessings, Beautiful Souls. I am Brandy L. Bates, author of Moonshine for the Soul, The Art of Grind, and many other books. I'll be your host for tonight. You can find me on Twitter at Soledad Francis and on Instagram at Brandy is Winning. Most of these podcasts can be found archived on YouTube, hashtag Power Podcast, but please listen to these while they are alive and still have their spirit and vitality and endorphins by subscribing to us on iTunes, Apple Music, SoundCloud, and or uh, Brandy Bates dot Potomatic dot com. Did you know? Did you know? Colonel Sanders, Colonel Sanders, KFC Kentucky Fried Chicken. Colonel Sanders was orphaned at age six. Did you know? And was broke. At age 69. Now, Colonel Sanders, KFC, the estate of multi billion dollar industry business. Did you know that Grandma Moses started to paint at age 67 and was discovered at age 89? Did you know? That Winston Churchill hated school. Winston Churchill, London, England, the Brits. Winston Churchill was at the bottom of his class. Considered a backward child. Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? Oprah. Oh. Oh. Oprah Winfrey. The first black woman billionaire. It's possible. First black woman billionaire and the richest African American woman, black woman. She's also referred to by many as, as the most influential woman in the world. The O effect, right? Oprah mentioned mentions your name, mentions your product, mentions your service, and it takes off, right? But did you know? Oprah oh also had to endure child abuse and molestation at the hands of uncles and cousins and had to endure pregnancy and abortion and miscarriage as a result of that abuse. I say all that to say, if you want a new outcome, you will have to abandon some things. You will have to abandon, um, often times, it will be things you love 
and, and, and cherish the most. What you like to eat, what you like to drink, who you like to have sex with, the activities you enjoy the most. You have to get to a point where you begin living in such a way that you look down at your own life you look down at your own two hands and see a new man or a new woman. Seriously. Seriously. All bullshit to the side. You have to get to a point where you get sick and tired of your own shit, right? If you want a new outcome, you will have to break the habit of being yourself and essentially reinvent a new self, right? Whatever you focus on is what you are going to feel. Whatever you focus on is what you are going to feel. So some people focus on, you know, what they can't control. Politics, the liberals, the conservatives, the monarchy, the rules, the laws, uh, racism, prejudice, isms, 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 isms. Things you cannot control. Some people focus on what they cannot control. Right now, you're deciding what to focus on. Better decisions, better life. Better choices, better life. There are some of us, oftentimes in your life, there are decisions that you will make that will affect the outcome of your life for the next 10, 20, 30, 40 years, okay? There are people sitting in prison right now serving real life sentences because of a bad decision that they made 20 years ago. There are people who are sitting in hospitals who are who are uh, suffering debilitating existences because of a decision they made 10 years ago, 17 years ago, 12 years ago, right? Better decisions, better life. Better choices, better life. Where we put our awareness and for how long maps our destiny. What is your exit strategy in any given situation? Because nothing is permanent. Nothing is forever. You can choose to harness any situation. And that's what they don't tell us. You can choose to harness any situation. That really like changes the dynamic of any situation when you really think about it. What are you willing to work your ass off doing? The people who you see at the highest levels in society, in sports, in academia, in politics, in business, in the sciences, in marketing, the people you see at the highest levels are the survivors. Good, bad, or indifferent. The people you see who win at the highest level are the ones who didn't give up. And I still can't understand why in 2019 people are still selling themselves to a boss for eight to 10 hours a day for a salary to fund a lifestyle and shit for people who they don't even like and who don't really fuck with you. You know, you are choosing to indebt yourself to a lifestyle, to an existence, to a job, to a career for a salary for a yearly annual salary plus bonus plus benefits to afford the type of lifestyle for the cars and the homes and the wardrobes to impress people who really don't fuck with you. Because you always have, at the end of the day, you have to ask yourself what you're doing. Are you doing it? For the love of it? Are you doing it because you're passionate about this? Or are you doing it because you're just trying to pay your bills? You're trying to pay your student loans? You're trying to you're trying to pay your car note? You're trying to keep food on the table. That's it. 
Right? That's it. I'm trying to keep that oil change going. I'm trying to make sure you're able to go on your little annual cruise, your little carnival cruise every year. You're trying to make sure your kids rocking the latest sneakers or whatever. You, you know, because you know what matters to you. But there are better ways to make money. There are better ways to make a living, to survive, other than slaving in an industry, in a world, in a business, in an entity, in a system, in a machine that is wearing away your core by the day. The The field has been leveled, folks. The field has been leveled. Never, ever, 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 but they say never, ever, forever, ever, in history, have we been able to learn just enough to earn a six-figure, seven-figure, eight-figure lifestyle, self-made, not a part of the monarchy or royalty or the learned class, not having to slave through medical school or law school or even in many cases, business school, and yet become a self-made millionaire. Do you realize how many self-made billionaires are living and enjoying life? Self-made, again, not a part of the monarchy, not a part of royalty, not a part of the Rothschild machine or the Rockefeller machine or uh, the government or working for the government or working for any major huge, they create their own shit, right? They create something out of the ether that never existed before. An apt, a uh, 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 Game of Thrones, uh, a brand, a logo, a business, an idea. A movement, right? We're talking about the overcomers. The human body is nothing but energy. And we forget this. Decision is the force that shapes destiny. The human body is nothing but energy. And decision, decision, decision is the force that shapes destiny. Period. What does it say? Period. And there are two types of people in this world. Those who go where the wind wants and wills to take them. And those who go where the hell they wish to go. Wouldn't you rather be spending your days traveling, living, laughing, loving, tasting the best of life? There are templates out there on, on how to create online businesses that totally fund the lifestyle you would love. It's been done. It's been done. To learn to work for yourself. To be in business for yourself. In a time when well-heeled interests have compounded their wealth at the expense of the rest of the country. Right? Favoring huge companies and corporations and LLCs and, and offshore accounts. Right? And inherited uh, wealth and creating a hostile environment. For entrepreneurs and small business. But yet you can still get out of the rat race. You can still get out of corporate America. And create self ink. Self ink. The great spiritual geniuses. Whether it was Moses or Buddha or Plato or Socrates or Jesus or Emerson. Have taught man to look within himself to find God. As a man thinketh, as a man thinketh, as a man thinketh, as a woman thinketh, as a man thinketh, so is he. They've told you this. And yet we still playing around with it like it's a theory. But the real doers, the real overcomers are walking in that shit. They're living that shit. Like we're operating in it because it works. And if you are consciously pursuing something, you're consciously pursuing something, putting all your belief, 
thought and intention into it, the universe will send you signs of confirmation that you're on the right path, right? It's kind of like when you have set your mind to the kind of car you want, the kind of car you're about to buy, all of a sudden, you see that car everywhere. You see it in the color you love. You see it on the freeway. You see it on the belt line. You see it at the stoplight. You see it parked at your favorite restaurant. It's there, baby, right? Because this works. This works with both positive and negative as, as the universe does not know the difference. Because we assign good and bad to situations and strategy equally. It merely sets out to manifest whatever it is you want. And so it can show up as synchronicities. It can show up as people showing up at the right time, epiphanies, repetitive signs and signals and symbols. You start to notice as you continue on your path, right? And as you build, you create. As you build, you create. As you think it is. As you create, you continue to believe more and, and it reinforces more of what is. And as you take action, the world reacts. See, you have to learn, you have to learn to fall in love with the souls who have tasted your sorrows and your depression and felt your wounds smell the copper in your blood and the salt in your tears and and felt the sting in your wounds and yet still chooses to linger in your presence in spite of your shadows or you're down in the dumps Right? The human eye, the human eye, the human eye, the human eye, your eye, your eye, your shit, the human eye can only see. And we talk in 2020 vision, folks. The human eye can only see between 430 and 770 terahertz. 2020 vision. No contacts, no bifocal, right? No aviators. Our ears, our ears, your ears, your shit, our ears can only detect sound between 20 hertz, roughly 20 hertz and 20 kilohertz. Okay. These ranges make up a fraction of the total sound and light frequency range. It's a whole spectrum, right? They say you on the spectrum. He on the spectrum. My baby on the spectrum, right? Whole spectrum. But this means that there is so much going on around us that we can either, we, we, we can't see it, we cannot smell it, we cannot taste it, we cannot sense it. See, when you talk about the paranormal world, you're talking about shit you cannot, you cannot even fathom is sitting in the room with you right now, sitting in the car with you right now, standing right next to you. You cannot see it. You cannot hear it. You cannot smell it. You cannot taste it. You cannot touch it. You have no idea. It's right there. Your entire life. I say all that to say your entire, your entire life. Can, can really change in a year. In a year. This time next year, everything can look different. You just got to love yourself enough to know, number one, you deserve more. You deserve it. Be brave enough to demand more and disciplined enough to actually work for more. And for the women, all my ladies listening, please understand that your softness because see they try to use this against us and make us be like no nah, i want to be equal to man and uh, listen 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 your softness your feminine wows can open so many doors don't ever think you have to always be hard and strong and cutthroat to get shit done 
because every great man who was ever great and ever brought to his knees, I promise you, was conquered by the wiles of a woman. And that's not to say, you know, women this or women that, but to say that water wears away at rock. Water wears away at stone. Water moves mountains in the same way, if not as much as iron or rock or fire or wind, absolutely and completely, completely, totally. So you can lie down for people to walk on you and guess what? They'll still complain that you're not flat enough. You can be the juiciest peach, but to somebody that's not fucking with peaches, guess what? They not feeling you, point blank. Live your life. There will always be somebody mad about some shit out of your control. And there are all types of isms that, you know, people suffer from. Racism, sexism, right? But will blame you and hold you accountable for. You can't help who you are, what you're into, what you love, what you do, what you're driven towards. But don't 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 be surprised how quickly the universe moves. Once you've decided, you know, once you've decided, that's why they say just decide, you know, I'm not going to be for some shit or I'm, I am going to stand for something. You have to command an increase of love. You have to command an increase of love and happiness and joy and money and abundance and, and, and success to enter your life. You have to speak that. You have to focus on that. You have to envision that. You have to write the vision. We all, you know, have a little bit of, I want to save the world in us. All of us, all of us, all of us. And it's okay if you only save one person. And it's okay if that person is you. So, you know, seek your higher self. Discover your unique talents. What are your unique talents? Like, you know, because a lot of times what I'm finding is we get caught up in school and college and these careers and these jobs. And we try to drum ourselves up to be some shit that we're not, you know, and what family is expecting, the expectations of society, the expectations of our religion, the expectations of our tribe, the expectations of our nation, right? When really that's not even what's in you, right? And so I say, you know, discover your unique talents because that's really what you came here with armed with you didn't have to learn you didn't have to get certified for that you know how to do and you're good at and you can uh you know feed yourself with but ask yourself how you are best suited to serve humanity because that's where your wealth will come from that's where your notoriety will come from. That's where your fame will come from. And a lot of times, honestly, that's what's going to keep feeding you and keep feeding your children and keep feed, feeding your children's children. What will be your legacy? You separate yourself by moving forward. You separate yourself by doing the work. You separate yourself by pushing forward when it hurts and when showing up, even when you don't feel like it. You know how many times you gotta get up and go to the gym, you don't feel like it? You don't feel like getting up at four in the morning, five in the morning? Who feels like, who feels like getting up at four in the goddamn morning? You know, who feels like putting in the work? That's why the people who do it get blessed and get paid because it's not easy. Consistency, consistency gets you wherever you wanna be. Whether you pursuing a person, 
whether you're pursuing a bag, whether you're pursuing a career, whether you're pursuing a degree, whether you are pursuing a trophy or an award, consistency always opens the door. It takes time and dedication to realize that you're not yet good enough. See, a lot of people don't want to hear that shit. You know, people want to hear, oh, well, you know, they didn't accept me because I'm a woman. They didn't accept me because I'm black. They didn't accept me because I'm I'm a Democrat. They didn't accept me because, because, because. No, they didn't accept you because you're not good enough. Because when you're good enough, they don't give a fuck about this, the color of your skin. They don't give a fuck about what you about, what you into. You're just going to get that bag. You're going to get the acknowledgement. You're going to get the publicity, right? When you're good enough. Henry Cartier Bresson said, your first 10,000 photographs are your worst. Photographers, hello. Photographers, photogs, your first 10,000 photographs are your worst. What if you put your 10,000 hours in? You haven't put 10,000 hours in some shit. Don't, 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 don't be looking around for your accolades and, and, and mad and in your bag and you got your lip poked out like somebody stole your bike. You haven't put in the time. You haven't put in the effort. You haven't put in the sweat equity. You haven't put in the blood. What have you poured 10,000 hours into? What have you poured 10,000 photographs into? Nothing limits you except your beliefs. That's it. That's it. Point blank. Period. Your first marriage tends to be the oops. And see, a lot of people don't want to talk about this because we like to get brand new when it comes to love and relationships and emotion. We like to get real brand new and fake. But your first marriage, show me anybody over the age of 45, 50, or anybody who's been married more than once, they know what I'm talking about. My mother used to say marriage is like making pancakes. Your first one is always fucked up. Always. You will fuck up. You will fuck up on your first child. You will fuck you 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 you, your first job, your first anything. You're gonna drop the ball. You must change what you're sowing to change what you are reaping. Never allow the grind to corrode you. Do whatever it is you need to do to clear your mind, to keep yourself sane. Cause you know, anything can, can take you away in the current if you allow it, anything. But also when you don't fit in, it means you're not average. When you don't fit in, it means you're not average. You got to be average to fit in. Don't be apologetic because you are the round peg that they're trying to force into the square, you know, hole. You don't fit in means you're not average. That's a good thing because there is only one you. You're like a snowflake. We're all like snowflakes. And it's better to be a flaw in a diamond than the perfect pebble. And whatever energy signature we carry will be repeated infinitely again and again and again until we change that vibration. Because this universe, the universe we live in, this third dimensional Milky Way galaxy, uh, some of us on the you know we're, we're 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 planet earth we're a globe we're round we're global and some of us are we're flat earth but in this universe we live in is fractal and anybody who's ever been under the influence of a psychedelic or a hallucinogenic uh, an entheogen um shrooms or lsd or you 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 will see the uh the fractals when you remove the veil and you're able to see the other dimensions, you're able to see the other worlds, you will see the fractals because we live in a fractal world. Quantum science suggests 
the existence of, of many possible futures, right? Many possible futures for each moment of our lives. They, this is what this is what they believe. This is their theorem. This is their um, argument. Each future lies in a state of rest until it is awakened by choices made in the present. And the eye only sees what the mind is prepared to comprehend. And this is true. This is true. Cuz you can look at a you can look at the same situation and different people will get a different perspective. Different people will have a different experience, have a different opinion, and have a whole totally different reality of what went down. Same situation, similar, you know, existence. Everybody has a different Opinion, but the overcomers, the overcomers, the overcomers, overcomers know where to heal themselves in life. You really do have to learn how to, how to retrain your mind and redesign your habits and get refocused. You really do. You really do. Because here's the thing. Nobody gives a fuck. Work is tough. Nobody gives a fuck. Marriage is tough. Nobody gives a fuck. You overweight, you're dealing with struggle, money issues, financial issues, health issues. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? No one cares because everybody is sorting out all the shit going on in their own world. Not that they are heartless, not that they are cold, not that they are callous, not that they, they don't love you. It's just everybody is dealing with their own issues. And so the overcomers know. Exactly where to heal themselves, where to do that self work, where to do that self healing, and learn learn to see and recognize when shit is broken, right? When systems and algorithms and goals and aspirations have expired, when 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 algorithms and systems and goals and aspirations have been influenced versus what actually speaks to your soul, because a lot of us are going to school or working jobs. Are in situations and relationships that were influenced and 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 fed to us, but are not fulfilling our our inner uh, calling. So my question to you today, right now, get real with yourself. You don't have to get real with me, because in the grand scheme of things, I don't matter. What are you immersed in? What are you you you? What are you immersed in? What are you about? What are you into? What have you got going on? W. Clement Stone said, when we direct our thoughts properly, we can control our emotions. And he also said, he also said, all personal achievements start in your mind. And I believe this. The first step is to know exactly what your problem, goal, or desire is. So when you operate from the already beyond, you're not trying to operate from scarcity or lack. You already have enough and you're already enough. You already have what you need within. You know this. It is uh, innate, instinctive. And somehow, you know, we read the magazines, we read the books, we go to school and they all reinforce you're not enough. Right, you're not enough until you get this size or this weight, or your hair is this color, or you get this degree or that degree, or you go here, or you experience this, or you taste this, or you live in this neighborhood. You're already enough. But but so many entities and businesses and forces want to convince you that you're not, so that you can buy into the shit they're trying to sell you. Right, the overcomers. That's what we about today. What you operate in and when you operate from the already beyond, you're not trying to operate from scarcity or lack. You're already enough. When you get to where you want to be, you will realize it wasn't what you thought or imagined it would be. Talk to anybody who has gone to grad school or bought the house or bought the cars or made their first million 
or or made their first billion went overseas whatever it is it's not ever what you imagined it would be sometimes it's more it's better sweeter sometimes it's less but it's never quite you know what you thought it was going to be anyway thank you for listening Thank you for rocking with us. I appreciate you. Call your mom today. Call your kids. Reach back. Each one teach one. What you reading? Let's get into something. We're almost halfway through the year. What are those goals hitting on? You know, really because like we're almost halfway through. You know, so we really have to reach back and get refocused. It's not too late, y'all. Peace. Blessings. Have a wonderful, amazing rest of your day. Talk to you next week.